This is the final version of the acid farm, which does not contain any unnecessary stuff, and can be saved as a blueprint. Many players were confused by the intricacies of the previous build, so I simplified the system. As you may have noticed, pure water and polluted water now stack to 1000 units. Thanks to this, there is no real need for extra water tanks, so I removed them from the build. Each such module still consumes 132 watts of power and can produce up to 24 units of acid per hour, or 576 units per day. Since this is probably the last update to the build that I will publish, let's do a full breakdown of the math of acid production, so that no one has any questions. To produce acid, we must extract polluted water using water pumps, then convert it to impure acid using osmosis water purifier, and finally produce acid in brewing barrels. The most efficient setup is one osmosis water purifier, 10 water pumps, and 2 brewing barrels. The osmosis water purifier converts 2 polluted water into 1 impure acid in 1 minute of real time and has 4 input slots. This means it can process 8 polluted water per minute, or 480 units per hour. Each water pump extracts 4 polluted water every 5 minutes, or 48 units per hour. Accordingly, you will need exactly 10 pumps to fully fill the production capacity of one osmosis water purifier. The output will be up to 240 units of impure acid per hour. To produce 1 unit of acid in brewing barrels, you need 10 units of impure acid, 1 unit of pure water, and 20 minutes of real time. Since each brewing barrel has 4 input slots, it can process up to 120 units of impure acid per hour, producing up to 12 units of acid, so it takes 2 brewing barrels to process the 240 units of impure acid that we get from the osmosis water purifier. If you have the hydronaut fish deviant, it will speed up production significantly. For example, a hydronaut fish with a skill rating of 1, speeds up impure acid production from 1 minute to 52 seconds, and acid production from 20 minutes to about 17 minutes 30 seconds. You can get this deviant for completing securement silo EX1 in the way of winter scenario, and I will definitely post something featuring it, when I have more data. As for now, before we get into building though, I would like to explain why we need wall-mounted pumps, as they are the most confusing ones. There are actually a few reasons for this. The first reason is that when the regular pumps are pressed to the ground, the build looks much neater. The second reason is that wall-mounted pumps serve as convenient terminals for connecting regular pumps with pipes and wires, which makes it easier to reinstall the build. The third reason is that each facility has a connection limit of 10 pipes, and if you connect all 10 to the osmosis water purifier, you will not be able to connect it to the water tank that is supposed to store impure acid. Let's build this farm, and then I will explain how it works again for beginners.
It may seem like the developers will do nothing with this build, but I would not underestimate them, so after you build this farm, be sure to save a blueprint. The pumps will not be saved, but they are still easy to reinstall. The system works very simply. As always, we have three switches, one for brewing barrels, one for osmosis water purifier, and one for pumps. Power is supplied to the terminal on top. The switch that controls the pumps is connected to both wall-mounted pumps on the sides of the structure. This way, when you reinstall the build, you only need to install five regular pumps on each side and connect them to the wall-mounted pumps with wires and pipes. Since impure acid cannot be transported through pipes, it will be stored in a water tank. All you need to do is periodically take it out and place it in brewing barrels, which also need to be supplied with pure water. For beginners, I again remind you that you need to install the pumps at a significant distance from any bodies of water. Otherwise, in addition to polluted water, they will extract dirty water, and you will have a mess. Instead, you can easily separate the production of acid and pure water, placing your territory on the border of the contaminated area. On the polluted part you can place your acid farm and deviation energy generators, and on the normal half, pure water farm and the main building of your base. You can learn more about this from a separate guide. The link to it and other useful materials will be in the description. Also don't forget to check out the playlist at the end of this video, since it contains a lot of useful information about the game. As always thank you for watching and, bye.